we are very clear on the position that we do not support the government in uh, the proposed 10% salary cut or its increment freezes for the next three years, I think, is what is being proposed. Um, you know, the, 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 the fact of the matter is that there is so much else going on and the government is saying it can't afford it and there is no dispute that um, we are in tough times. Uh, there is dispute about why we are here and they keep on blaming, of course, the UDP administration, uh, completely forgetting, in fact, that they saddled the government with the super bond that is still there, but that's another matter. The fact of the matter is that even in the plight that we're in now, the PUP government continues to be very reckless continues to just nonchalantly go about uh, pleasing uh, uh, itself and its party supporters. We've seen how many uh, new vehicles, um, we've seen the issue with the Ministry of Health vehicles and, 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 and the way in which they operate. We've seen the Prime Minister rent two new office spaces when there's a perfectly good office space in Belmopan and cabinet room in Belmopan. So uh, they are reckless and you know, our position, uh, is now, uh, as it always has been, that we should try our very best to keep this large block of employees working so that they can contribute back to the economy.